What's up, people? So, Dragon Ball Super episode 78 has come out, and man, Goku F up. One thing I say it always keeps. So in last week's episode, Daishin Khan gave us the time and the name of the new tournament, the Tournament of Power. Now onto a place where they're fighting, it is a place of void, a place of nothingness, so essentially it's just like this whole space of nothingness. Kinda what Zeno from the future did to Zamas and his universe. So this is obviously going to be the best place for the best fighters in all of the universes to have a one-on-one -on -one battle, away from people, away from planets, away from anything that they could destroy. Daishin Khan then goes on to explain that the best fighter will receive the seven Dragon Balls, the seven Super Dragon Balls. So this prize is only for the best fighter out of this whole tournament, so what does the universe win? Well Supreme Kai asked and Daishin Khan said that the universe that wins gets nothing. Daishin Khan then says we haven't told anyone these details yet but I'll tell Zeno's friend which is Goku. Daishin Khan tells Goku that the losing universes will be erased. Now Lord Beerus asks Goku do not go and ask him for this tournament. Goku doesn't listen, goes to Zeno, asks for the tournament and now the universes could be destroyed. Now I say could because I don't think Zeno wants to destroy the universes. I think he's just saying that so everyone will fight their best, fight their hardest because they want to see the best match they can possibly have. We saw last episode, they're getting bored, they don't know what to do, so this tournament is something that's really going to pique their interest and they just want to see the best fight ever. Daishin Khan then tells Goku he needs to find three fighters because he'll be fighting Universe 9. Zeno from the future hasn't seen the tournament before so he wants to see it, so they're having a Zen tournament exhibition. Three of Universe 7 fighters versus three of Universe 9 fighters. Daishin Khan tells them to meet at Zeno's place in one hour with their three fighters and then he takes off. Goku realizes that he's probably made a mistake in asking for this tournament, because not only is Lord Beerus mad at him, Supreme Kai is mad at him as well. Obviously Lord Beerus, the god of destruction, is angry at Goku and is fine with showing his anger to Goku. Supreme Kai though doesn't show his anger like that, it sort of shows more disappointment. He doesn't know what's going to happen, he says that he's a god so if his universe gets destroyed he'll never be able to look at any living being again. So, bit tough for them but Goku promises that he will win no matter what, no matter who it is, he will win the fight. So he goes to recruit fighters, he asks Vegeta, Vegeta still says no, he's still waiting for the baby to be born, so he goes and asks Gohan. Gohan's actually the only other person now that knows that the universe will be erased if they lose. And even Gohan is mad at his dad, he's like, how could you let this happen? Gohan suggests that they don't tell anyone else, only because that they could start a mass panic that they don't want. So Gohan agrees to fight in the tournament and in the exhibition match. Goku finally asks Boo for his 3 on 3 exhibition match and Hercule comes because that's the only person that Boo listens to, so... Anyway, they all get to Xenos and as they're walking through the hallway they then see Universe 9 with their fighters, three wolves. Now these three wolves are known as the Trio of Danger. The red one, his name is Basil, the short one is Lavender, and the one that Goku fights in the opening scene is Bergamot. Now I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name, but that's how I've read it, so yeah. Now so far we know that Basil is good at kicking, he's good at footwork, that's his thing. I'm not too sure yet on what Lavender does, but Bergamot he uses poison. He can manipulate poison and that is his signature move. It's also said that he never has won a fight fair and square. So they see each other, they size each other up and then Daishin Khan takes them all to the ring. You then see all the gods on the platform surrounding the ring. Goku yells out and says hi to Lord Champa. Daishin Khan tells him to be quiet. Daishin Khan is explaining what's going on and then Zeno shows up and Goku yells out to Zeno and flies up to him and says thanks for the tournament. Lord Beerus quickly gets up there throws him down and says sorry and gets back to his platform. All the gods are mortified, they can't believe how disrespectful Goku is. Daishin Khan explains that Goku is the reason that this whole tournament is happening and then asks him to say a few words and Goku says, I heard there was a lot of strong fighters in the universe, so that's why I organized this. Then the Kai from Universe 9, Rao, he's the grimy looking greedy looking Kai, that guy with the really shifty face. He asks what the winner gets for this exhibition match and Daishin Khan tells him nothing. The winners get nothing but you fight your hardest and if you don't, Zenon might be upset and he may erase you. Rao and his god of destruction Shirora, they do not look impressed. So now knowing this, the first wolf that the trio of danger decide to send out is Basil. It wasn't really a decision, Basil I guess decided to send himself out and he jumps into the ring. Lord Beerus comments that he doesn't look like much and they send out Boo. Unfortunately, Boo is sleeping. Lord Beerus yells at Hercule saying, isn't that why you're here? Uh, he runs over, he tries to wake up Boo, he gives Boo chocolate, uh, that wakes him right up and he's like, hey, that guy over there wants to play with you. 
Uh, I'll give you more chocolate if you go play with that guy. Boo agrees, jumps into the ring, they begin the fight, and Basil is kicking Boo everywhere. As I said earlier in the video, Basil's thing is kicking, that's what he does, so he's kicking him all around the ring. He really doesn't seem too impressed with his opponent, uh, he hits Boo down onto the ground, and everyone's like, oh man, Boo needs to start fighting, and then you see Boo smirk, and then it ends there. In the next episode, we see Boo is still fighting Basil, he looks like he's not taking on a lot of damage, he also looks like he's not taking it serious, Daishin Khan looks like he's not impressed, and uh, like he said earlier in the tournament, tournament if you're not giving it your all you could be destroyed on the spot so from the dialogue it seems like goku and everyone else is worried that he'll be destroyed and they ask him to show his true power for the sake of the universe and i assume that'll happen now my whole thoughts on this episode man what a turn i mean the dragon ball series is very comical so there's still that there and it's always going to be there but i mean it's getting so good. The story is good. One thing I'm most excited about this is the martial arts tournament style. I love that in Dragon Ball. I love that in Dragon Ball Z. And to get it in Super now where it's like a full-on tournament with a whole universe, it's insane to me. And the atmosphere is a lot heavier. Everyone knows Goku has stuffed up by asking for this tournament. And everyone's lives are hanging in the balance. They need 10 fighters to win to save the universe and I mean there's not a lot of fighters that are as strong as Goku and Vegeta they're their two main fighters Gohan I'm hoping gets up there but I don't think he's ever going to get to the level where Goku was they also have Boo whose power is significantly less than Kid Boo or Super Boo but I mean he is still a force to be reckoned with he was a big threat in the universe I mean even Frieza was told by his father the two people he was not meant to mess with in the universe were Majin Boo and Lord Beerus so Boo definitely has raw power in him that he can bring out. It's just, he's like a kid. So, I mean, it's going to be awesome to see him draw on that power. We've also got the Android 17 and 18 who were a big threat. Now they're friends with everyone. So, I mean, I would like to see them show a lot of power they haven't shown in quite a while. I mean, yeah, if there's at least five fighters in every universe that are as strong as Goku and Vegeta, the odds don't look good. So again, the overall feel for this is just heavy. It's like everything is hanging in the balance. Like Supreme Kai is not happy with Goku. Law Beerus is not happy with Goku. Whis shows no emotion, it seems. But it's just everything is in the balance and they need to win in order to save everyone. And like I said before, I don't think Zeno is going to destroy the universes. But if he does, if Goku wins the Super Dragon Balls, I'm sure he will wish for the universes back. What will happen after that, I am not sure. But... I'm excited for this arc. I know everyone's excited for this arc. I know I say it every week. We've been waiting. We've been waiting. But now it's here. And it just really feels like a Dragon Ball Z episode. So uh, what were your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Uh, did you hate it? Is it going too slow to you? Do you think it's going just right? Let me know. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, guys. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Saiyan Satsumi. It'll keep you updated with all things Dragon Ball Super. I also do challenges and vlogs. So click one of these two boxes to uh, check them out. As always, people, thank you so much for watching. I'm The Saiyan Satsumi. Catch you guys next time.